Researchers at Washington University found infections from parasites and bacteria in people who live in Cahokia Heights. The Metro East community has been dealing with flooding and raw sewage for years because of failing sewer lines. Our Tracy Hinson sat down with a member of the research team and has more on their findings. We were very surprised. Surprised that people she tested in the U.S. were in worse shape than indigenous people she worked with in South America. The people in the U.S., both in Mississippi and in Cahokia Heights, have much higher levels of intestinal inflammation compared to the people in Ecuador. So it seems like there's still, even if there's some um, shielding going on, but from having some infrastructure in place, people are still having worse health outcomes in some ways. Dr. Teresa Gildner, a researcher at Washington University, thinks that is because people in the U.S. are not aware they are not seeking medical care. We've been talking with doctors to tell them what we're finding so they're aware if patients come in with symptoms, maybe they should think about testing for H. pylori or, or other types of uh, intestinal infections. Infections doctors are thinking about when they ask you, have you traveled internationally? But if you haven't, they typically steer clear of those problems. In a small study last summer, researchers found signs of tapeworms and H. pylori in people living in Cahokia Heights. These infections lead to intestinal inflammation and can lead to bigger issues if left untreated. The research shows that Cahokia Heights numbers are high because of flooding and sewage issues there. In more severe cases, people could develop those ulcers I mentioned, or in really extreme cases, if this goes on for a long time, um, it's been linked with certain types of cancer, of gastric cancer. Research shows a link between high levels of parasitic and bacterial infections in flood-prone areas with lacking sewage systems like Cahokia Heights. My hope is that in the long term we can work towards bigger structural changes and improving infrastructure and really making sure people aren't exposed in the first place and they don't get sick at all. Tracy Hinson, Five on Your Side. And if you live in Cahokia Heights and are interested in participating in the study, you can stop by the library starting tomorrow between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. to register. The research team from Washington University will be there most days this month.